Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia manga. This is chapter 424, the unofficial translations just dropped on TCB scans. And the two-week brutal hiatus is over. Um, for those of you who watched my reactions for a long time, you'll know that whenever a break happens, usually I'm always like, oh, you know what, it's fine. Like, typically I'm okay with it. Like, let Horikoshi have a break. I can, I can manage. This last two weeks at least as far as I can recall, there might be some others that were brutal, like Bakugo's death, I think it was the two-week wait afterward. Um, it's just, like, a lot of turmoil and a lot of people, like, you know, going crazy. Um, and uh, if you guys remember my reaction to uh, 423, it was not very kind. Uh, so before we dive into this new chapter, I want to quickly add some addendum to how I felt about the last chapter, because my, my opinion has changed uh, with time and just the official translations. Um, so those of you who watched my reaction, I felt it was very fast. I did. I thought a lot of the dialogue was confusing. Um, and in general, I wasn't a fan of it. I would have given it like a five out of 10. I think it was a mess. Um, but after time of thinking about it, uh, and the official translations helping clear things up, I still don't think it's a perfect chapter by any means or a great one, but I'd probably bump that five up to like a seven out of 10. Um, like it was, it was fine. It was okay. Uh, it could have been better. I, I really, I still don't really like the Kurugiri ending if that's, if that's actually how it ends. And I don't really like Bakugo jumping in the middle of nowhere. There's things like that. But in regards to like all for one, um, and his talk with Yoichi, I actually kind of liked it a lot. Uh, I still think it could have used a little bit more time um, because they are so important. But like what was there was good. Um, the Deku Shigaraki stuff really like I'm still kind of lukewarm on it. It wasn't it wasn't awful. Like it really wasn't bad. Like what we got was good. But I like, kind of like the all for one stuff. I wish there was just a little bit more meat on the bone. So. And, and what they said to each other made more sense. Uh, and it, it just, it felt better with the officials. I don't think last week we had Rikasu translating, by the way. I think it's worth mentioning. I think it was someone else. Not to push blame on anyone else, but just, it's it wasn't the normal um, style we usually get for translations. So, um, yeah, on the whole, I, I, I'm still, I still don't love that chapter, but time helped and new information helped. Uh, so where does that leave us for this chapter? Um, honestly, anything could happen. Like it's one of those chapters where I just don't, I don't know where Horikoshi wants to go with it. I never know, but I usually have a good idea. Um, I had a couple of predictions for this week, but nothing concrete. It's just kind of fluff. I have a weird nagging feeling and I'm probably wrong about this, that we're not totally done with Tenko. Um, my fear is that like we are totally done with it and I'm left with this feeling of like, ah, I guess it was okay. Could have been better. It wasn't bad. It was, just, it was okay. Um, and, but it was, it was actually the end and I'm just holding on, like clinging to some weird feeling that's not done yet. Um, so there's that. And I mean, I don't know, like, I don't really have any, like, we, we joke about this, but Uraraka jumping out of the helicopter and catching Deku. I don't really think that'll happen, but it'd be kind of funny if a little bit forced. Um, so, you know. Uh, yeah, no real predictions. Uh, I guess we'll wrap up the battle. Um, yeah. Let's dive on in. 424. Okay. United States of America. Washington State. Oh, wait, what? As you can see, the whole country is being blessed with clear skies. As we're seeing a map of the uh, United States. A few days after the battle, a time skip. That, I mean, like I said, anything can happen. That is something I did not expect to happen. We're getting the United States. Are we going to get the, the U.S. heroes coming over? already wow we're getting time skip okay we'll see where they go with this that's fascinating so no it looks like 
unless we get some flashback stuff, we're kind of done done with like, there's no going to be like lingering, uh, like messages from Shigaraki or whatever from that, that scene. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay. So yeah, like I said, Washington state, United States of America, as you can see, the whole country is being blessed with clear skies. We'll see the weather forecast and I see the weather girl down below still looking amazing by the way. Uh, this past week was a bit chaotic, full of ups and downs. But I want to apologize for being so far off the mark about my forecast. And we get the the people, <laughs> please don't say anything weird again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because the last time they were freaking out because she went off script. <laughs> um, Meryl. Oh, we have, is that her first time we've had her name? Meryl? She does look like a Meryl. That's a good name for her. Anyone else agree? I, I kind of like that name for her, Meryl. That's a good name. Um, she looks so good. She's got to be one of the prettiest My Hero characters. Can we all agree on that? Um, but you should be careful when doing laundry since the wind is still pretty strong. Yeah, wow. A few days after the battle. Dude, what does that mean? What? I, that's something I didn't even like think about. I thought we would just carry right from where Deku was. Uh... Okay, so I have a other theory I didn't feel like sharing at the beginning because I didn't think we get a time skip. My other theory was that uh, if Koichi does appear, and you guys know I'm thumping that that drum, uh, it won't it wouldn't be at that battle location. It'd be after, like during the cleanup when the heroes come over. We just got a time skip. Um. So, but uh, what else could happen? Um. I guess hospital stuff. If it's a few days after, man, I'm, my mind's racing now. Uh, that changes a lot, actually. By the way, I, I just had some uh, some Koichi art made, um, commissioned, and go check it out on my my Twitter. I mean, it's from Ben Sadfleck, and it, he did a great job. And I, <laughs> I was just like, I was, in, in my post, I was like, I'm trying to will him into existence, which is partially true. But I wanted some Koichi art, but you know, can't hurt, right? Uh, you should be careful doing the laundry since the wind is still pretty strong. Uh, again, Meryl, Meryl, she, she's awesome. Uh, okay. Cut now. Oh, maybe we still are cutting to the Deku and seeing that location or maybe it's, maybe, I don't know. Uh, all thanks to the gust from that day as we see Deku's fist raised with, uh, the blood coming out. There's, there's so many possible, like people, people think that, um, myself included that maybe something was transferred. Um, cause Deku had the bloody fist with, with Shigaraki and maybe, maybe something was transferred. It, the, the sky's the limit, like, which is ironic because we're looking at the sky being parted by his punch. Um, after that colossal battle, how will our world dot, dot, dot. She didn't finish that. Uh, oh, we get Salim. That's, that's Salim, right? The Egyptian hero. Hey, send that my way. Is he's all flat. He's like, I still, so he was in the World Heroes mission. I still don't really understand, like, his power. Obviously, he's flat like paper, but, I mean, what is, what, he's the number one Egyptian hero. He's got, it's got to be some, like, oomph to it, right? Like, something special. Uh, we're getting Cementos and Power Loader. Thanks a bunch, as it looks like they're just clearing a bunch of rubble and shit. Um, we're getting a cute little girl and a boy. Uh, she has an Endeavor pouch. Is that the girl that, um, <clears throat> oh no, these are, that's a good callback. These are the two kids that Uraka and Froppy saved at the end of the first war. Remember like, um, she was, she was caught in the rubble and he was trying to pull her out and he's like, she's like, go leave, save yourself. If you go, you can have my Endeavor pouch. And he's like, I don't want the pouch. I want my sister. <laughs> like, and then they get saved by Uraka and Froppy. Yeah, that's those two. I think anyway, it'd be a very weird coincidence if she had an endeavor pouch and so did the other girl, but no, nah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Whatever change may come, I'll continue with my forecasts. Good. Good job, Meryl. Uh, our house is back up again, says the girl as they run toward, uh, damn, they're really pumping out some fast buildings here, but you got to think like, dude, we're going to see some like America again, please God. I I will be so disappointed if all this, all these American heroes coming over and and if other foreign heroes too, and we don't get Koichi, I'll be so pissed. Like, it, it's now or never. Honestly, our house is back up again. It shot up like bamboo, and we're getting a shot of. Uh, I presume a lot of these are 
like American heroes because the Japanese hero populace is very depleted or like in the hospital, you know? So that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep my eye out. Um, yeah, they're doing, doing a bunch of construction. A week has passed. A week. Not just not just a few, like three or four days. It's a week. A week has passed. The reconstruction project, which hadn't started even after the Battle of Jakku, has been making great progress. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're kicking ass, honestly. After the war, many heroes from around the world started from the U.S. Starting from the U.S. and from other countries have been giving us plenty of aid. As we just see a shit ton of... Uh, it's unfortunate that we're getting this on like the, these aren't the digital scans. These are like probably direct scans from the pages. So like very, very fine details with like strong blacks and stuff tend to get lost. But overall, I'm still totally fine. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's going to be hard for me to like discern like some of these, because there's a lot of heroes on the screen right here. Um, there's a guy by a helicopter. I can't, that's not Captain Celebrity. That's not him. It's similar. He's got a cape and he's flying. No. Wait. No, there's no way. There's no way that's Captain Celebrity. It, it's close, but like, I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, start from the U.S. Be giving us plenty of aid. Yeah, just a bunch of people clearing out rubble. Uh, the humanitarian effort of like of this is... You gotta think it's insane. Like, a swaths of Japan and cities were just decimated from the battles. Um Hell, like Dobby's alone was like this gigantic sun erupting from a like a location, probably burnt a lot of shit, you know. Um, after sitting on the sidelines and watching, and watching you fight, I had to do something, and it's the lion dude. I see the Russian one. I'm kind of rusty. I've only seen World Heroes missions once. Uh, I think it's Big Red Dot, right? I think he's the Russian one. After sitting on the sidelines watching you fight, I had to do something. He's shouting to a. Uh, a news reporter, which might be the girl that we always see do the news reporting. It's hard to tell. He's like throwing up in her face or something, <laughs> something weird. Um, the inspection agency, uh, sent us the plan. Now, now all we got to do is build it accordingly. Uh, we also checked the building standards act. Is that Ruka's dad? Cause remember he's in construction. I can't remember what he looks like though. Because someone was just sharing recently, I think it was uh, one of my friends on uh, Twitter was like saying that like uh, Uraraka it just showed like the mom and the dad. That's why he's striking familiar. Is like she got all of her traits from the mom, except for the eyebrows. I pointed out like the eyebrows are from the dad, which is so funny. Okay, and then we get a guy like, whoa, oh that's cool. There's a guy who has like 3D. It says 3D on his shirt, and he's like projecting a like a a 3d model of a building that's kind of cool if this restoration if if this restoration was taking place before the paranormal it would have taken over 10 years as we get lightning max from the i think just the first movie he might have been in the no he was in the third movie too lightning max from the u.s yeah and we get to talking to some of the 1b students no no way Koichi! What? No fucking way! Koichi! They had these here! Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's. Dude, just like that, they just show him. He's sitting up on a perch. He's like on a. on a. a steel girder. Oh my god! Dude! Oh, he looks so sick! What? Oh my god. <laughs> Never give up on your dreams. I knew it. I knew Horikoshi would put him in. Oh my god. Oh, I'm shaking. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god. That has to. That's him. That's 100% him. Dude, I'm shaking. Like my my legs are shaking. Right? Maybe because I was just punching them. But like, <laughs> dude, oh my god, that's insane. They just drop him like that. Oh my god, dude. He his suit has changed. His suit's like a little different. Like the the headpiece, the the visor, the little horns are a little bit longer. 
They kept the deep the attention to detail they have his scar. Oh, that's great. I mean, obviously, like, they'll have attention to detail, but, like, you can see a scar. His hoodie looks different. Dude! Oh, my, uh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I was right. Like, I mean, not just the whole time of me saying he's, he, like. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel so validated. <laughs> oh my, I would have been, I would have like, not gonna lie. If this whole series went by and after the past two years of me saying Koichi would appear and he didn't, I would feel like I wasted so much breath. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Uh, let me, let me geek out about this for a second. I know it was a whole rest of the chapter. Oh my God. Like, it, it, they just, they just show, I wonder if he'll get more like the way the, oh, I love, I love how they portray him right here, dude. Okay. So they have all these heroes like doing the work. And then you see like a little like highlight of a, of a person sitting on a steel girder, kind of like, I'll oh, just do it as pose. And he just, it's Koichi. You can't see his face cause he got the visor on, but bro. <laughs> I'm about to be the most insufferable person in existence on Twitter. I just want to let people know. And if you want to mute me, I, I am okay with that. I'm just telling you now. Um, okay. Um, really quick. I, I will, I will, I'll come back to this later. I know we have a chapter to get to, but really quick. I want to, I want to say why this means so much to me. Cause I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's not just because I love Koichi. I do. I think he's a fantastic main character. I think he's a really, he's really different than Deku too. He's, it's not just like another Deku. Um, he's really different. But the reason that I wanted a cameo so bad is if you think about vigilantes throughout its entire existence, it's, it's always taken opportunities to prop up the main series, to add lore, to, to reveal facts. You didn't know about characters from the main series. Um, Facts about Rappa, things about Mirko, uh, all for one Rappa, like not Rappa, uh, Hood, uh, just like various elements and lore to the main series. The reason I wanted a cameo is just one time, the main series, the Big Brother, the the one that gets all the attention, the spotlight, to to point back, like point back and say, hey, hey, folks, hey, large audience, vigilantes, just once. It's like almost like a, it's almost like a validation of like the people who are adamant and fans and love vigilantes. It's like, it does matter. I, I can't believe it. Oh, that's so good. We're only like three pages in. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I will gush about this more. Um, we do have a chapter to get to. I apologize for that detour, but that's amazing. Oh, he looks so good. Oh my god, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, can he maybe go over and say hi to Aizawa now? Please? <laughs> I want that so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay. <clears throat> Continuing on. Love you, Koichi. I'll be back to talk about you. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, we're getting a pan a pan shot of... of um, Japan <coughs> in sort of all the area that the battles were happening we got Mount Fuji in the middle in the distance I assume that's kind of the Gunga area because it's like giant wasteland that's where all for one is wreaking havoc um, presumably we have like the island somewhere that the aquatic location was at um, and we're getting I don't know what's going on there. They're like pushing. I think they're pushing rubble into a river or something. Mm. But with all these quirks combined, we can sh be sure that in, in no time as we're getting. Yeah, dude, this is cool. There's like a bunch of like heroes. I'm pretty sure we've never seen before. Again, it's kind of hard to tell the smaller ones in the distance, but a lot of these you could tell are like uh, definitely other countries are coming to like help rebuild and stuff. There's a girl who looks like a terrible tornado kind of. She's like floating around, almost like a bug girl. She's like floating with like 
I say terrible tornado because she's like lifting stuff with like telekinesis or something. Wow. Oh, that's so sick. It won't go back to how it was. I'm regretting that the doctor, the, the chicken doctor. I love the consistency. They're having the chicken doctor always be at the general hospital. That's pretty great. I mean, it makes sense, obviously, but like, it's just so funny. Like this, this guy's design is so simple yet awesome. <laughs> and we're getting Bakugo and his parents. Yo. Okay. Yeah. His, his, whoa. Oh shit. Dude, his right arm, the one that got like super busted. It looks like skinny. It looks like frail. Maybe that's just because it's in a wrapping and it's like compressed, but like it's completely wrapped in like gauze. And if you just like visually look at his like left arm and his right arm, his right arm looks really gaunt. Like it looks like pretty weak. <clears throat> uh, it won't go back to how it was, says the doctor. The surgery helped, but it won't get better than this. We'll have to keep an eye on him, but we did all we could. Dude. Oh my God. Freaking Bakugo. Permanent damage. Oh, look how small it looks. I'm not crazy, right? Bro. By putting... But putting one thing on top of another will somehow manage to keep its shape. We somehow manage to keep its shape. But I can't say for sure if it'll ever move again, even after rehab. That's crazy. Whoa. Legitimate, like, crippling thing for Bakugo. Which, okay, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not happy he got hurt, but I'm happy that the ridiculous nature of him pushing himself actually had a consequence because I love Bakugo. He's my favorite student, but he pushed himself so unbelievably far, not only coming back from the death from dead, <clears throat> but like a, a, the assault that he had on, on all for one, which was insane. And that's the, the, the final blow was what kind of shattered his arm. Um, but then somehow reaching Deku, which I still find ridiculous. Um, that's crazy, though. But by putting one thing on top of another, we somehow managed to keep its shape. But I can't say for sure it'll ever move again, even after rehab. And Aerie's horn's gone, so say goodbye to, like, rewind possibility. Uh, cutting to Mirko. Oh, Mirko signed before the war. Rehab, cut the crap, she says. <laughs> if you want to continue being a hero, I'd suggest prosthetics like Mirko's. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still like kind of worked up. I'm, the shaking is finally kind of stopped from my limbs. I, I want to I say that. <laughs> my God. By the way, I wonder if my my uh, commission worked. I even said like, and this is this is before the leaks and shit happened. I was like, I'm just trying to will him to existence. Here's some great. Uh, Koichi art that I commissioned. <laughs> I wonder if it worked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Back to Bakugo. Um, no, I'm good. This is Bakugo. My quirk comes from the palm of my hand. Katsuki says his mom. Besides, he didn't have any any to begin with. He didn't have... Is he referring to Deku? So I'll kick his rehab ass no matter how hard it is. <laughs> You gotta, why you gotta be like that, Bakugo? It's all tender, like, oh, your arm will never be the same again. He's like, yeah, I, you know, no, no, no prosthetics for me. So I'll kick his rehab ass no matter how hard as he shouts. Never change, Bakugo. Oh, God. You still can't do any heavy lifting or he heavy training. Huh? Says Bakugo. I'm more worried about your heart. Oh, is there repercussions about his heart, too? If Edshot hadn't stitched it and, form and performed CPR, you would have died. I don't even know how you managed to keep fighting. On top of that, I can't wrap my head around why you traveled so many kilometers. How does that make any sense? You and me both, Chicken Doctor. I, I can I can suspend disbelief. Like, it's not really how he reached there. Like, sure, whatever. But why? Like, there there was no purpose. I'm sorry. Like. Anyway, that's one of my few major gripes with the last chapter that still stand. Um, it's evident that it wants it's evident that it wants you to keep living. For now, you focus on resting. Okay, so are we gonna get confirmation 
that Ed Shot died and like uh just just so many things. Like there's no way he lived, right? I, I assume he did die. You're awake? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All night in Deku. Hospital bed. Buddies again. This brings me this is oh was it season two? The sports festival and they were like sharing the bed. Hey, they got all mine a bigger bed though. Uh wait no, no, I'm thinking of season one. Yeah, season one is that the after the uh the USJ. They got all mine a, a proper sized bed this time. You guys remember that that episode, his feet were dangling over the ledge? <laughs> um Okay. Alright. I've been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to the the talk between these two greatly. Um, okay. So Deku on the left, All Might on the right. They're both uh, basically in body casts. Uh, Deku's got <clears throat> half of his head bandaged. Deku says, to think we'd share a room, All Might. <laughs> <laughs> the cue, the cue, the meme. Look at us. Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> um, All Might says, that got... That got to be Sukeuchi Kun's doing. Deku replies, oh. <laughs> oh my. This is so strange. This is just like so casual. They're just like, oh, we're kind of done fighting. Like, <laughs> what's going on now? <laughs> this is just so like weird to me. The war's over. It's. It, I, I, don't, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm a babbling lunatic, this, this chapter. This is a good chapter. I'm not being biased, but like so far I like it. Um. It's easier to guard. It's easier to guard, and only so <clears throat> only so many rooms available too. Bro, don't think about it. You're freaking father and son at this point. Just share a room. What about your body, All Might? Says Deku. The doctor says he's never seen so many bolts. Ugh, I don't like that. What about you, Young Midoriya? Still, I love when he calls me Young Midoriya. It's just the best. I'm starting to feel my arms again. What the fuck, dude? Starting to feel my... I wonder if, like, after his, his arms regrew, that, like, for a moment, he just... The, the nerves hadn't, like, fully reactivated yet. I wonder if that's, like... What, what what's just happened in the end. I couldn't save Tenko's life. Okay, here we go. Says Deku. After I reached my hand and his hatred was gone, Tenko continued to be the leader of the League of Villains, until the end. He doesn't say Shigaraki, he says Tanko. It's interesting. All Might says, As someone who also had a near-death experience, let me ask you this. How was his face the final moment? By the way, All Might's uh, pupils are like... They're kind of like half white, half not. It's going to be very interesting to see how they animate this. Um... How was his face at the final moment? You already destroyed it. That will depend on what you guys will do from now on. Oh, we're actually getting more. So you better do your best. <clears throat> wow. Wow. We get we get a new image of Shigaraki. Interesting exchange. They added they added a little bit to what they said. Uh so remember, uh, Shigaraki was like, tell Spinner that like, I never stopped destroying until the very end. And Deku responded, you already destroyed it. And then, so we're, now we're getting, we're getting like Shigaraki's reply. That will depend on what you guys will do from now on. So you better do your best. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Huh. Everyone telling Deku to do their best, by the way. That's that, bro. We just had the main villain of the series, uh, barring all for one, tell Deku to do your best. That's that's pretty crazy. I kind of I kind of like it. I still wish there was a little bit more, but I appreciate us getting an, a little extra slice at the end of the last exchange. That's good. <clears throat> Deku, uh, going going back to Deku. If what you saw wasn't a crying boy, then I think his heart was saved after all. Just like one for all's big mission. As we're getting the users, as All Might thinks about the users, all of them. Wow. 
that's a that's the one other thing like ah man we're getting them all smiling here which is nice is it better the way we got it or did they deserve a little bit of a like you know i'm still undecided about that but this isn't bad this isn't bad you could argue this is better that it doesn't follow the trope of like big goodbyes and stuff that it's just it's real like it just it just happened i don't know i, I gotta think about that one <clears throat> it's a good shot of all of them though you have i like it all might's a part of it too even like uh obviously his vestige was just like a ghosty thing but like he's he's there in the bottom right and then you have banjo bruce nana uh yoichi um god i'm i'm, I'm missing some of the names aren't i uh and i i i'm drawing a blank i'm sorry <laughs> you passed it you passed it on to him right it must have reached him he's thinking back to when he was kind of watching from the rooftop with ed shot yes but and new bakugo f- swings the door open with his parents trying to stop him from behind <laughs> i can still feel some of the embers inside of me oh oh shit I didn't even I didn't even think about the elephant in the room that like Deku the status of his like his quirk. So I can still feel some of the ember. So, oh man, oh if he ends the series quirkless, I know a lot of people who are gonna be pissed, like really mad, really mad. I personally I don't know how I feel about it. I haven't come to a consensus in my mind yet. Um, I would prefer him to have something on one hand the the message of being quirkless and still being able to make make a difference and be a hero is has been a theme but i don't know maybe this will shed light on it we're about to get uh why are you moving around <laughs> shouts his mom <laughs> no i love the his mom is so great <laughs> the way the way i read that too why are you moving around <laughs> um Kachan, I'm glad you're safe, South Deku. I'm so sorry, All Might. This kid was pretty worried about you. Sorry, Azuka kun Uh, I presume it's both the parents apologizing. The embers, huh? Shots Bakugo. So that means you'll be quirkless. Bakugo says as he thinks to them holding the cards. Deku says, "Yeah, but I was born without a quirk to begin with." So I'm not really sad. I transferred it on my own volition. He says with a smile. <sighs> Don't get me going, Deku. Don't get me crying now. I'm actually pretty happy I got to live this dream. Don't you fucking do it, Deku. Don't get, <laughs> get me crying now. Fuck. <laughs> Cutting to Bakugo's like bandage arm. What dirty trick did you use? Cutting back to in their own like middle school, a quirkless guy would never su- pass the exam. So I'll even so I'll go even higher. That's my duty. It was just getting some flashbacks between them. Don't you dare let me surpass you, Izuku. And Bakugo starts crying. No way! Whoa! Huh? This is Bakugo. No way! You're crying? Yeah, that goes the same response as me. <laughs> This is a great chapter. This is a great chapter. Call me biased, but holy shit. You know what? You're crying? And Deku's eye, the unbandaged eye, is like, boom. <laughs> the shit's out of his skull. <laughs> no, I uh, just... <laughs> he's just wiping tears with his... <sighs> I'm going to miss this series so fucking much. Seriously, and in the the words we're getting right now are shaky, so you can you know Bakugo is actually legitimately emotional. This shit is gonna hit so hard. Animated, it's already hitting hard now, but I mean like the voice acting. Oh my god, seriously, just how I, just how have I been treating you you until now? I just thought that we would keep competing and stuff for a while somehow. I don't know. Oh, fuck. 
it's so fucking sad. Oh my god. Oh fuck yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's actually really fucking sad. The way he said that, are you kidding me? I just thought we would keep competing and stuff for a while somehow. I don't know. Stop. That's not like you. Says da- like you keep smiling. Stop. <laughs> you just, you saying all this straight faced with the things. Don't be smile. Half bandaged. You, you little bun of sunshine. But hey, I still got the embers. <laughs> Shut up, Deku. And stop talking. Stop. <laughs> I love you. And stop. <laughs> He's too optimistic right now. He's too optimistic. <laughs> what the hell? He, he's trying to cheer up Bakugo and he's just smiling. He's trying his best. He's like, stop, that's not like you. <laughs> but hey, I still got the embers. <laughs> we can still compete for a little while. I'll be quirkless eventually, but not yet. <laughs> oh, that's so great. But uh, my body is all messed up and my mental state is a bit off. <clears throat> you got stronger, says All Might, both of you. You changed a lot since the day I met you, he says. Oh, uh, that, oh, that shot. Uh, we're getting, okay. Fuck, I, yeah. <laughs> um, you see Bakugo standing in the room, in the doorway. And his parents. Bro, that's a good shot. That's a really good shot. His parents stepped out, and they're just holding his, like, IV unit. And they're just kind of, like, heads down, just kind of, like, listening. Like, they, they, they basically, they, they realized that that's their moment. Like, they, they like, separated, but they're just standing there, like, taking it in. That's, that's, uh, that's so good. That's a really, I feel like people won't appreciate that kind of shot, but that's really fucking good. Um, now we're getting Deku, they're both crying. Young Midoriya, that day, when you ran off, you became my greatest hero. But now, you're the one who makes people stand up again. That means you're the greatest hero to everyone else, too. And young Bakugo, it's thanks to you that I got the opportunity to, to tell you both all of this. Basically saying you saved my life. You were also the greatest hero. Thank you so much. I knew the All Might Deku Bakugo talk was coming. I didn't expect it now, and I did not expect it to hit this hard. Holy shit. When I was a kid, I thought peace came back immediately after the war was over. Oh, we're getting a narration. When I was a kid, I, th- I thought peace came back immediately. Is this Deku thinking, like... Is Deku, is this confirming that Deku was the old man who was like letting the cherry blossoms fly through his fingers? Oh my god. When I was a kid, I I thought peace came back immediately after the war was over. But as we're getting, we're getting a few images here. We're getting the back of Shoto's head. I don't know what he, I don't know what he's doing. We're getting a box of. Uh, or like a tray of something. Are those uh, are those spinner scales? They look like his scales. I'm about to say because I assume that spinner lived. People people were giving me shit that spinner like was dead or brain dead or something. I don't. I think he'll be fine. I'm assuming he's getting hospital help. And we're getting Uraraka looking out the window. Dude, there's so much shit. I can't look forward. I can't wait to like, look forward to. Our story won't end just yet. As she's holding her gut. I think that's where Toga stabbed her. Until we get our bright future we've been fighting for. We'll go beyond. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Deku's hair. Whoa, his scar. Whoa. We'll go beyond. The new life. The new everyday life that awaits them. Number 424. Epilogue. Whoa. Okay, so they're walking... Whoa. Oh, is that a callback? That's a callback to chapter one. Kind of, I think. Where they're, like, they're walking toward UA, but the UA is like destro- half destroyed. Uh, well, it's being rebuilt, uh, I should say. Deku's hair. Is that because of surgery, or is that because the the damage from the scar? That might be from surgery. The scar is kind of cool, though. I kind of like Deku with a scar. Is that wrong? I kind of like that. 
I don't know if it ruined his hair growing in that spot, though. It's just, that's a, no, nah, that has to be surgery. Like, because you know how many, anytime, like, if someone got, like, brain surgery or whatever, they shave the head and whatnot. Like, you gotta, you gotta clear the way for, you know, to get way to the wound. Um, wow. We'll go beyond the, the new everyday life that awaits them. Epilogue. Uh, really quick, someone said to read the, uh, notes for this week the horikoshi notes uh writing okay so i i i feel bad i never do this but at the top i i always forget it's here they share horikoshi's notes for the week um the reason i didn't for the longest time is i i didn't know if it would like spoil something for the chapter so i never even like thought about it but they do include the notes the horikoshi notes so let's see what he says people said to read this uh <clears throat> writing conventions say that the conclusion of a story should be short but this is not the type of manga that can immediately end after the fighting is done. So I'll keep going for a little while. We're going back to the title. The title of My Hero Academia? I mean, hey, shoot. You got me, Horikoshi. You know I love me some slice of life school and the shenanigans. Okay. So that's why people want to be... Okay, so that kind of confirms... Kind of what I already thought. That... Because... If you go by the manga volumes, like how many chapters are in a volume, it's supposed to be 12 per volume, right? This would be the second chapter into a new volume. So presumably, we have at least, like, close to 10 chapters left? That sounds good to me. That sounds like a perfect good length for an epilogue. See some, like, interactions and tie up some, like, story story threads and stuff? Hey, that's... This was a great chapter. This... So it's interesting. My I didn't really have any hopes for this chapter, but, like... It kind of added just a little bit more to the Shigaraki stuff, which I appreciated. I still feel a little bit wanting. Like, if that's the end of Shigaraki and Tenko, I wouldn't call the conclusion amazing or great. But I would I would call it good. And I'm gonna I'm feeling like I'm gonna get roasted for that. People are probably wanting me to hate on it, or on the conversely, maybe people want me to love it. I think it was good. I don't think it was, like, as bad as, like, as I made it out to be last chapter or, like, how many have made it out to be. I I, th I think there were things that could have been done better. If, I mean, maybe we'll get, I don't know how, but maybe we'll get more Tenko stuff. I kind of doubt it now. But, like, you know, on the whole, like, with the all, I thought all for one's end was a little bit better because it was so sad and pathetic and not grandiose like if you think about it like that's his whole thing he wanted to be big and bad and loud but he kind of went out with this just a sad whimper being called a sad lonely man of being all alone kind of like that i thought his was pretty solid honestly uh i would call shigaraki's good that's kind of how i feel about that but we're about to get a lot of slice of life stuff which is great. Uh, by the way, can they, can someone get Deku a new backpack? Why the hell is he can around that thing? It's all beat to shit. <laughs> um, yeah, we have Kaminari and Ida walking alongside him. So it's another time skip, uh, like two time skips essentially in one in one chapter. We had a week, which kind of makes sense. It gives the heroes the other heroes time to fly in, and it gives time for like. I bet you a lot. I bet you like Deku and like other characters were comatose probably for a little while from blood loss and things. I, like I bet you Deku probably slept for a good, you know, two three days just recovering, you know, and whatnot. Same with All Might, and so I feel like we didn't miss anything. I think they showed us basically everything, the, like the main stuff that happened. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. Koichi. where is he? There he is. I feel... I feel at peace. Like a great burden has been lifted from my heart. That my posts and ramblings and acting like a fool were not for naught. And you know what? And more fitting... It does tie to the weather girl. I had a long running weather girl theory that uh, 
didn't fully come true. There's some things that are different about it, but basically my weather girl theory, I'm sure a lot of you guys have clicked off the video by now. Um, that's fine. This, this, this is just for the hardcore people. Um, I had a theory on my, on my Twitter that I made like a good two years ago when the first, the weather girl first did that weather report where she broke script. Um, I was like, that's a call to action. That's going to spur the U S heroes to ignore the order to stay. And they're going to head over there. Um, and I thought that's what it was for, but ultimately, no, they didn't come over until they were allowed to, but it's, it's ironic that here we have all the heroes coming over and the weather girls also prominent in this chapter. So the core of the theory didn't happen, but the result and the spirit of it happened. So, you know, I'm not saying I was perfect on that front, but, um, you know, Koichi, he, he we, you know, I, here's my thing. I don't think something tells me here. Here's what I hope, man. Like they're rebuilding UA. I, I'm just, my mind's just making stuff up right now. They're rebuilding UA. And then like Koichi wants to visit Aizawa. Like he just, he just walks up and it's all under construction. He's looking around and Aizawa was talking to some students and Koichi could be like, Hey, you know, I wish I could have gone to a school like this. That would have been really cool. And then like, cause, cause Koichi never went to a, a, a hero school. Uh, I guess you could call him a dropout. Um, but like, and then him and Azawa could just either shake hands or just say hi. That's, that's all I need now. That's, we got him at the story that we're going to see Koichi animated in the main series. <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. There will be a moment in the My Hero Academia anime that Koichi is animated. Yeah, I you know I wonder if people are gonna be like, Mighty, aren't you mad? Like he only he only got a, a single a panel. No, I'm not mad. It's it's what the panel represents, and it could be more. But he looks so good. He looks so majestic, sitting like Spider Man, like the crawler that he is up on that pole. I couldn't be happier. This this chapter. Even, okay, even if Koichi wasn't in this chapter, and that's a big chunk to take out in my book, <laughs> I would still consider this a very good chapter. That talk with Deku, Baku, and All Might was so perfect. It was so good. But you, you put Koichi in there? That's a perfect chapter. It's perfect. I'm sorry. Any chapter that you put Koichi in there, I'm going to call it a perfect chapter. Am I biased as fuck? Yeah. Do I care? No. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Bakugo having permanent repercussions from his actions. I like that. Again, I don't want him hurt, but like, it's kind of crazy that they're going off into the future and you have him, Bakugo, who is in true contention to be like a number one hero, is permanently dealing with an injury like this. That's going to be interesting. Um, and presumably without rewind. So we'll see how that goes. Deku with embers. This is something I feel like a lot of people are going to be talking about. I'm just, I'm just predicting it now. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. There has to be a reason. There has to be a reason. Uh, my guess is he's not going to end up corkless. And the reason is if he was, what's the purpose in him having embers still right now? Cause all might's embers lasted you know, like what months, like a few months, grant that he was using it a lot, but like, it's not like, it's not like a super long-term thing. He's going to, you know, he might not even be able to finish UA high school before it runs out. Like granted, if they even do the other two years, cause it's like, what the fuck are they going to learn? Like, Oh, here today we're going to learn how to properly save a cat from a tree it's like no <laughs> um if anyone deserves to be expedited it's them but like i don't know a lot i don't have a i don't have a good theory on that at the moment that that's something that's gonna deserve a lot of thought which i'll give it for sure because i'm a nerd like that um If 
fantastic chapter. It's just a, 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 honestly a really good chapter. It helps the last chapter a little bit. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go up to an eight or anything, but like, like I said, the whole Shigaraki ending I would say was good. Not great, not bad. It was good. It was fine. Deserved better, but I'm glad I didn't walk away. If this was it, and that just seemed to be it for him, I didn't walk away feeling like, oh man, that was butchered. Like, no, there was there was elements to it that were good. So, I'm at 50 minutes recording. Um, very long. I think I probably talked about Koichi for a good 10 minutes of that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably wanted to see that, though. Get ready, like I said, for an insufferable amount of posts. Because, yeah. Can't believe we're almost done. I'm gonna miss. I'm going to miss this series so much. I'm going to miss talking to you guys so much. What a joy. You know, I've made thousands of videos on YouTube, but I don't think, I don't think anything surpasses the simplicity and joy of just sitting and reading this story with you guys, honestly. But, you know, we'll say our goodbyes on this series another day. For now, will you read on? And I don't think there's a break. It doesn't say there's a break, right? Yeah, no break. Oh, I mean... It might be a break, like a sudden break. You never know, but it doesn't say there's a break next week. So, yeah. All right. Um, leave your guys' thoughts down below. What did you think about this chapter? It was okay. It was all right. It had a couple things that made me smile. Definitely didn't cry. No. Me? Nah. All right. Until next time, it's been Mighty Gazelle. I think you all have a mighty day. Koichi is real! <laughs>